prettiest of seasons for the Purdue football team, but in the end, they accomplished what they set out to do. They got a bowl bid. They certainly did. Just four days from now, the Boilermakers will face the Oklahoma State Cowboys in the heart of Dallas Bowl in Texas. News 18's Elizabeth Frenchler caught up with the team as they were leaving today and has more on why they say their opponent is one of the toughest in the Big 12 Conference. It became quite clear on Wednesday, sports doesn't like snow. Not only did the Indiana Pacers postpone their game against the Chicago Bulls, but practice for the Purdue football team was canceled. Although the Boilers will be playing in a bowl game in less than a week, Purdue interim head coach Patrick Higgins says he was satisfied with the decision to not practice. Once uh, the, we knew the storm and the severity of it, uh, we were all about uh, safety first. So we weren't going to put anybody at risk over a practice. It's not worth it. Safety first meant all players from Texas stayed in Texas. The rest of the team back in Indiana had one short practice Thursday night before they packed their bags to head down south. Bright and early Friday morning, the team filed into the Purdue airport, prepared mentally and physically to face a team they say is one of the toughest in the Big 12, Oklahoma State. The offense is pretty uh, fast paced, so as far as the defense, uh, we just got to keep on staying on our toes and, and be prepared. They can run the ball in, throw the ball. Everybody always just looks at them as a passing team, but they actually can run the ball too. So it's just um, going out and not letting them make many big plays. They got a lot of playmakers, um, a lot of guys they can get the ball to that can have an impact. Um, so we got to look out for everybody. But when it comes to their opponent, a win seems to be the only thing on the minds of the men in gold and black. That and a little sportsmanship. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> the Boilermakers face the Cowboys at noon Eastern time on New Year's Day. Reporting in West Lafayette, Elizabeth Rentschler, News 18.